Hey everybody, Troy here from Troy's Hobbies back again for another unboxing and test run. It's been a, a couple weeks since I've done a video and so here I am. Uh, the wife bought me a, uh, this is the Works Hydro Shot. It's a 20 volt cordless power cleaner with accessories. Got it from, she bought it from QVC. I will post the links down below. It was on sale for the holiday. Uh, if I find it on Amazon, I'll go ahead and post. If I find it anywhere else, I'll go ahead and post some links there so you have an option. If this is something that you're interested in getting, at least you'll have an option, option on where to buy it from. But let's go ahead and open it up. So anyways, but I mainly bought this because it's, it's cordless, uh, easy to use. You can stick it in a bucket. or even, They even showed on QVC using a little spray bottle, just in case you don't have a water source nearby. But if you have a five gallon bucket or something, you can just carry around a pail, a bucket, whatever you have. Uh, insert the, uh, the hose, this connector here, and, and uh, you can clean whatever you need to clean. But the nice thing about this, this is more powerful than a hose, but it's not as powerful uh, as a uh, you know 1300 PSI pressure washer. So if you're looking for something in between, this might be for you also manual information put that aside here's a connector i'll read the instructions in a little bit here to see exactly the name for this so it says on here max 2300 psi 16 mpa max 60 c one oh 60 center 60 degrees celsius 140 degrees fahrenheit that's so that's what it states on the on the wand here nice little brush this out so there's the brush let's go ahead and open it up now firm but soft there it is Ooh, a little hefty it, it doesn't I mean it's plastic of course but it doesn't feel like cheap the 99 cent store item it has some heft to it Wow I still got to read the instructions. It says H and L, so I assume that's high and low. That's uh, where that connector goes to, where your brush attaches to. There's your. Uh, there's a, a safety switch here on my left, so if you try and pull the trigger right now, nothing happens. It's a safety. So there's a button right here. So you got to press it in. And that releases the trigger so now you can use it and then you can't use it again safety's on this looks like a nozzle extension lance okay this is the short lance they call this a lance a short lance there's a spray nozzle on the end so this is the uh, extension lance they call it a lance for cleaning says here 320 psi max on this one and then you got the uh, short lance which is this one it says here 34 psi max ah so if you got a five gallon pail which i'm going to use today that's what this is for so this will go down into your pail and this is a basically a float and so this connects to the side to the side of the uh, bucket here and this is a float and there's your suction See what it says on here rinse the filter regularly oh that's nice so you can unscrew this and there's a filter in here that's really nice so you can take that out clean it make sure you clean it regularly put it back on that's nice so that you don't damage the uh the tool the machine itself you can stop it on this end so make sure you clean up the uh the filter and here's a quick disconnect which is nice Here's a uh, cleaning squeegee. It says works right on there. Uh, this is an adapter for small, small bottles, I believe. I'll double check. Oh, here it is. Here's pretty cool. Talk about portability. See, there it is. So you can attach this instead of carrying around a pail or a bucket. And let's see what it says here. 14, uh, 400 milliliters. Interesting. Here's another wand or lance. 
So you have two of those. One has a disc, a quick disconnect. A few more things and we're done here. Here's another quick disconnect. So I'm, uh, after I'm done opening this up, I'm gonna go ahead and read the instructions. Little uh, mesh carrying bag for the accessories. What do we have here? Oh, oh, look at this. This is really cool. Let's, I'm gonna bring you up closer. Basically one, two, three, four, five nozzles in one. So you just got the regular stream, you know, kind of like the shower right there. You can see it, that's what it looks like. And then let me see, twist it over, this one, and it tells you on the side, 40 degrees. Next one, this one here, 25 degrees. Next one, 15 degrees. And then you have, of course, zero, zero degrees, trying to get that in frame there. Pretty cool. One last thing we have to open up. I assume that this is the battery. I might have to charge this. Just wanted to show you really quick what it looks like. Green blinking LED means it's charging. And then when it's a solid green like that, then that means it's fully charged. So we're going to go ahead and let it charge. And let's go ahead and uh, get back out there and we'll go ahead and uh, put the, uh, the tool battery together. Box. What we have here, here's the uh, charger wall mount. And it tells you with the color, uh, there's an LED here and then uh, trying to get this in view, there's some pictures there and it tells you when the, the light color changes, what it means. So this is plugs into the wall and here's the battery. 2.0 volt max lithium, 2.0 AH. Release has three LED markers there, LED lights. Tells you if it's uh, low medium charge or uh, fully charged right there. Hi folks, well it's been a while. Uh, I stopped the recording to charge this at about 11.34, 11.30 this morning. I and I should have charged it uh, a day ahead. I totally forgot about it. But it is now 3.43 p.m. and it's finally, uh, it's solid green, that means it's charged. So we're gonna go ahead and take it out and try it out. Hi right, folks, back again. Well, it's been roughly a little over four and a half, uh, four, four and a half hours. Uh, I, I forgot to charge this uh, yesterday. I should have done that and went ahead and opened the package for you guys. So it's been, uh, since I started the first part of the video, a little over four hours. So, but it's fully charged. You can see here, press down the red button. All three are green. That means it's fully charged. So uh, I checked it after three hours, it was still blinking. And then I had to go take care of some other business. Came back another hour, it was fully charged. So in between three, four hours is what it took to uh, fully charge. So right now I have the battery in place and what we're gonna do is, first thing we're gonna do is test out is the 34 PSI Max, which is the uh, short the short rod and the bottle connection. I'll show you really quick. We're gonna go ahead and install this, see it works. You gotta press down the button, press the trigger. There it is. So we're gonna go ahead and install the short wand In clockwise, it's uh, spring spring tension, so it's in place now. So that's on. So what I did right here is I had an old spray bottle, so I connected the uh, quick detach to it. This is the one with the clear hose. So we're gonna try, try it, see if it works. We're gonna go ahead and install it. There it is. Now it's a little more than halfway full. So we'll give it a try and see if it works. Haven't tried it. There's a high low setting here. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Press the button in and then pull the trigger. There you go. Oop. Pretty cool. It worked. And so imagine if, uh, you know, depending on how much uh, weight you wanted to carry, I'd try it with a two liter or a one liter. Uh, but this is something that would be nice if you have plants so you don't have to uh, carry your hose, you know, take your hose over there. You can just go over there with your, uh, you know, if, th if this was your plant over here, this bucket, I got a pail down here. If that was your, if this was my uh, planter with some plants, I can just go in there, you know, and fill it up. I got to try the high-low setting. 
doesn't really tell you there's no light or nothing if it's high or low so let's see what happens pull the trigger oh there you go you get the, the change in sound and of course the amount of water coming out so that's low put it on high almost out of water well there you go that works so on one end you have the float and and the filter so check your filter make sure it's connected installed clean this is the first use so of course we know it's clean so all you have to do is uh, dunk it in there there is a little clip here so you want to make sure that the uh, filter is all the way down at the bottom the clip and just clip it on the side there you go and the, the float moves by the way it goes you can bring it up or down there you go so on, and then on this end we have the quick disconnect we're gonna next we're gonna take the uh, long extension wand this is the one with the uh, the brass quick release we're going to take the sprayer this is the one with the five nozzles go ahead and put that together all right we're on right now I have it set at zero let's go ahead and put it on the uh, stream you see there you have a large knob and a smaller knob on top notches large and small notch the small notch is always at the top push in clockwise there you go it's installed so let's give it a try first use try it out I'm also going to try uh, the soap soap it down so we'll go ahead and spray down the van this is just a trial test run we are secure connect the other ends in the bucket go ahead and turn it on see what happens Give it a few seconds. We have it on high. There you go. All right, different angle. Hopefully you can see it. it's a little sh in the shadow now, in the shade. But this is the stream, kind of the shower on high. We're gonna go ahead and uh, turn the knob here to, let's go to 40, 40 degrees. See what it looks like. Oh yeah. That's kind of like the one you see at a car wash, that flat, almost flat, you know, spray when you're washing your car down at one of those uh, quarter joints. Oh, look at that. Did you see that bird poop just fly off? Oh, I like that one. That's probably the main one I'm going to be using. Let's go ahead and try 20. So all you have to do is, uh, oh, 25 is the next one. Let's see what that looks like. Same thing, much uh, flat but narrow. Much more narrow, narrower. I like it. This is not meant to replace you know one of those high pressure uh, pressure washers this is a uh, in between I like this okay next we'll try 15 degrees so 15 degrees much more narrower spray next and last one is zero see what it looks like Just a little dot, basically. Powerful stream. If you got a stubborn piece of dirt, look at that. That's a uh, paint scratch. That's tar, but that works really good. I like it. And now, if you, this is what happens if you use the low setting. 
hit the button up top here. Okay. But if you're going to be using this, most likely you'll have it on high. Well, I really like this, especially being that it's so easy to use it with a bucket. I just wanted to make sure I got the uh, bucket in view. So you got 20 foot hose, the other ends in the, in the uh, six pound bucket, I mean six, uh, six gallon bucket. I really like this. Wow, that's pretty good. I'm gonna use this to uh, clean the windows and siding on my house. This is come in handy. A lot of times the pressure washers, I'm always worried about maybe it's just too much pressure and it might damage something. Either the paint or damage something you know on the house so next we're going to go ahead and try out the little soap bottle and hook this up this end to a hose you have that option if you don't want to use a bucket so this is really versatile i like it so be right back all right next up is the uh, soap container the soap bottle this is what it looks like i have uh some turtle what's it called zip wax or something let me see turtle wax this is what I normally use. Quick and easy car wash and wax. Go ahead and put that aside. So all I gotta do is screw it on. Same thing, that small notch goes on the top. So you, it looks like that. Push in, clockwise, down. There you go. So let's see what it looks like. What we'll do is we'll soap down this part of the car and then come back, try out the, uh, the brush and then finish off with the uh, the large wand, the high pressure wand, and then the squeegee, and then we'll get we'll call it a day. Let's give it a try. Oh, there you go! Oh, look at that! Comes out foamy. That's low. That's high. All right, here's the brush. I'm gonna go ahead and dunk this in, make sure it's clean. Dunk it in some water just to make sure it's not dry. Same thing, there you go. See what it looks like. That's just from the bucket. Well, that's the brush. Go ahead and take it off. Now let's go ahead and put the squeegee on. Oh, actually, let's go ahead and rinse it off with the, uh, with the, uh, the long wand. I really like this. So this is the, uh, we have it set on. Let's go ahead and put it back on the uh, stream, the shower. Go ahead and play around with the uh, different uh, different functions. We got about half of a bucket. I didn't have. Uh, this is a six six gallon six gallon pail i probably had about five five and a half gallons in it it wasn't all the way up to the top but we're a little under half that's how much we've used so we'll go ahead and finish off here i like to keep it wet and then we'll go ahead and switch to the squeegee all right last accessory the squeegee we're going to go ahead and install that in and down oh look at that shoots out of here out of the top here That's the low setting, high setting. Well, it works really good on glass. The rest, I normally would use a, a towel, you know, a quick dry towel. I don't use a squeegee on paint. Let's go ahead and try, hook it up to a hose and see what it does. I assume the same thing. It's just a continuous water source. So that's it, the Works Hydro Shot. 20 volt max lithium 2.0 really nice i think i just sold one to my neighbor he likes it a lot look <laughs> comes in really handy he has a boat too so it'd be great for cleaning the boat with a bucket instead of you know not having a hose you can take it down to the uh, dock and if you don't have a hose hookup Put in some uh, water safe biodegradable you know marine safe soap he can clean his boat right down at the dock 
There you go. Look at him. <laughs> All right, folks, last part of the video. Hooking up the uh, hydro shot to a water hose. So we took that quick disconnect. All you got to do is place it here and turn on the water and you'll have continuous uh, amount water. of water. Let's give it a try. This is a, with a short wand. Let's go ahead and put on the, the long uh, high pressure wand. We have it on 15 degrees. All day, all night. Well, that's it. Kind of leaks over here uh, around the, uh, with the weight of the hose. That's one thing I see. Woo! <laughs> well, folks, if you like this video, please give me a like. If you like my channel, give it a sub. I'd appreciate it. Don't do what I just did. Turn the, turn the water off first. You guys have a good day. Bye-bye.